Yeah. Nick. Nick. Nikki. Uh. Well, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this week's t episode of uh, TC Weekly. It's actually Warp Week, so have fun. Hey guys, welcome to the Pursuit of Epicness. Filling in for Nick and Ian, I'm Keith. And I'm Josh. Why, why'd, you, why'd you just do that? Do what? That, that voice, like you're some sort of Indiana Jones villain, the I'm Josh. Why must you always criticize my ideas? I mean, you always complain my voice is funnier than my ideas aren't original. Because your ideas aren't original. Much to learn, you still have. Today. I'm going to drink a gallon of milk in under a minute. A gallon of milk in under a minute. All right. Put a minute on the clock. Minute on the clock. In three, two, one. to reach out for the good in life? Let your boring cat go from this to this! Or from this to this! Pet wigs are available at all local pet stores. Hurry now. 
product will not save you if your cat decides to murder you in your sleep. But he will look fabulous while doing so. sell burritos? Um, no we do not. Okay, thank you very much then. Uh, no, actually I had a question for you. I wondered if you guys sell burritos at all. Okay, that's not really what I'm looking for. Thank you anyways. Um, yeah, this may be a weird question. Uh, do you guys sell burritos at all? No, we do not. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, why can't I find a burrito? Maybe they have a burrito. Welcome back to Where's Willie. Does anybody know where Willie was? If you guessed that he was at a cabin, you were correct. Now this week, Nikki, the normal narrator, went on vacation and left me to find where Willie was instead. Now if you like gardening, or if you just like to be outside around beautiful scenery, this is the place for you. So take a walk with me and let's see what we can find. As you can see, there are many incredible plants here. And even some aquatic life. You may even be inspired to write something creative after walking around all of the gardens. place for kids to play.
Thank you for watching this special episode of Where's Willy? <laughs> Do you know where Willy is? This week on When I Grow Up, instead of talking to somebody who's in a career already, we decided to talk to somebody who's just starting out. We had the opportunity to talk to William Van Beek, a student at NWTC, and get his take on what he wants to be when he grows up. So well, picture yourself, five years old, you're kind of kicking it old school style with a whole bunch of buddies in the backyard, sipping on some juice boxes, and you're all talking about what you want to be when you get older. You know, come, comes around to be your turn, what would you, what, what would you have said when you're five years old? What would you want to be? I was five years old. I don't know, I was going through that superhero phase, you know, where you watch like Spider-Man and Batman and all those shows, so I was always kind of like, I'm a crime fighter. I want to fight the bad guys. And then I thought realistically, and I was like, I'm going to be a cop. That's what I wanted to be. But um, I guess, like, if in the five-year-old mentality, superhero, you know? I wanted to be, be Spider-Man. I wanted to be Superman. I wanted to fight crime. I wanted to be a bad guy like that. That's what I wanted to do. Is that still what you want to be, or has that changed since then? Deep down inside, yes. I want to be a superhero. So what are your current ambitions? I mean, are you, are you truly wanting to fight crime? Do you want to be a police officer? I mean, what are you... What are your life goals at this point? Realistically, my life goals, I kind of like to find a job at like a news station or something, I guess. Yeah. It's going to be good. Good standing right there. Peter Parker? Peter Parker, yes. So that's I with a video camera, not much of a photographer. So. so are you currently going to school for anything as far as, you know, trying to go work in a news station? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to TC. I'm going to NWTC, I'm going for, you know, digital media. Um, I do have some connections over at Fox 11, so maybe slip myself in there, possibly. But um, yeah, I don't know. Other than that, it's about right. What kind of classes are you taking with at NWTC? Uh, so I've taken internet broadcasting, uh, photography, Mac video editing, basics so far. Second semester, so got two more to go. Are you doing anything in your free time as far as trying to advance your ambitions to work at a new station? Uh, I do do videos for fun. My friends have done them since about junior year. Nothing like back in junior year, they were not professional. And now they've gotten not slightly more professional. Like if someone gave them lights, that's what they look like. Now I have lighting. That's about what it is now. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I do videos and then other than that, I just watch lots of movies. I've always watched tons of movies, and, uh, and I follow like the rule. You watch a lot of commentary on DVDs, you can pick up a lot of stuff that you would want to do with movies, so it's kind of a self-taught way of learning. But Sounds like you're big into filmography as far as like hobby is concerned. Is there anything else that you do for, for hobbies or in the spare time? I just hang out with my friends. That's about it. I don't know. i got a girlfriend. Hang out with her. Hang out with my friends. Hang out. <laughs> Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Golly, uh, I don't know. Probably working somewhere. If it's not a news station, I'll be doing something for sure. Um, I don't know. Ask me in five years, I guess. <laughs> well, Will, I'd like to thank you for joining us. It was a great opportunity to talk to an NWTC student and kind of see what they have planned for their future of when they grow up. Thanks, Will. Thank you, buddy. Hey, TC Weekly fans. This week is Warp Week, and you're actually watching Bree's Boutique. And today, Becca is going to show you how to keep your car healthy and, well, I'm going to show you what you should be carrying in your purse. So stay tuned! Alright guys, we're going to learn how to do some tips on how to keep your car healthy. One of the big ones is your oil. You're always going to, going to want to keep your oil checked. So what I like to do... I like to take this part here, I pull it out, 
and then we check to see where it is. Usually your um, your um, pin will have markings on there, and if it's um, past a certain point, that means it's going to need to be changed. These are the markings on your stick, and if you reach this line down here, it says add. So you definitely want to get an oil change by then, and it'll have and your oil should be dirtier. But I just recently got an oil change, so mine is up to this mark, and I should be good. And we just wipe it off, and then we'll stick it back in there. Another thing that you want to keep checking is your engine coolant. These are your engine coolants. See, I'm quite low actually, so I should probably fill up a little bit. You usually want to be about three-fourths full when you on your engine coolant. Usually you can check your windshield washer fluid. But I'm pretty good there. Another main point is your brake fluid. You always want to make sure you have plenty of brake fluid so your brakes will work properly. See, these are all things that you should be um, watching. Now we're going to check the tire pressures. Alright, another thing you really want to do when uh, keeping your car healthy is checking your tire pressure. You never want to be stranded with a flat tire. So one of the handy things you can have is a tire gauge. You can pick these up at Fleet Farm and an auto parts store and just about anywhere. But it's a good thing to keep on you just to make sure in case you look like you have a flat tire. So all you do with these is you take it and you just stick the end on there. And I have about 280 and 280 pressure point in here. So so this TC Weekly fans will pass it off to Sarah now and she's gonna give you some beauty tips on the go. Hey everyone, for all those nosy guys who want to know what women carry in those big bags, well, today I'm here to show you what I carry in my purse. Alright everyone, let's see what I have in my purse today. Okay, well the first thing that every woman should have in her purse is some um, deodorant. You never know when you're going to need that extra protection for your underarms. The next thing that I have is Tic Tacs and some gum because you really don't know when your breath is going to stink and you can use it anytime so after you're done eating or just because you want some taste. Another good thing to have is some lip gloss and you can also carry around a makeup bag. It's very accessible, very easy and you can put pretty much anything in it. Now one thing everybody should carry in their purse or maybe in a wallet is keys, an extra set of car keys because I know I lock my keys in my car all the time and it's very handy to just keep an extra pair in something that I know I'm going to take everywhere with me, like my purse. Band-aids or first aid kits are also very handy in some situations and some first aid kits are tiny enough that they are um, you are able to put them right in your purse. One thing I love to carry in my purse is candy. Uh, these happen to be lifesavers and they're very accessible when you just want a real quick snack. Alright, TC Weekly fans, that's a wrap for Warp Week. Join us next week on What Not To Do. And remember to subscribe on iTunes. Keep it fresh. Hi, I'm Ryan, not Tony. Hello, I am Becca and not Nick. And, and this, this is, is the Warp, Warp Week, Week version of Disc Golf for, for Dummies. dummies.
about the types of discs. There are three main types of discs. And uh, the main disc, I would say, is the driver disc, which is for like distance uh, shooting, and especially when you first start off on the tee, and you want to use the driver disc because it goes the farthest. It's the lightest. Um, I guess it's the least flexible, so it picks up the least friction on the way over there. And I guess it's, it's the fastest and goes the farthest. The second one is the mid-range disc, which is used for, you know, in between, basically in between the hole and, and the tee. Like when you first shoot, usually if you're not extremely far away, you want to use the mid-range disc. It's a little more flexible and um, doesn't go quite as far. Second shot disc, I guess. And then the last one is the putter. As in regular golf, you use a uh, putter golf stick for like little close shots when you're really close to the hole. So this is one you want to use to, like when you're really close to the hole, uh, to just kind of toss it in there because it's a little heavier, it doesn't go as far, it's really not flexible at all. So those are your three main discs, the driver, mid-range, and putter. And I don't know everything, so ask Tony and Nick for next segment if you have more questions on that. And we'll see you later. Okay! I can't reach it though! Maybe you should grow a couple of chicks! You should probably not tell me what to do, alright? Alright! I'll grow a I will! Amanda! Who are you texting? Kelly. Let me see. No. Let me see. No. Let me see. No. Let me see. Let me see. Stop it! No. What was that? What was what? I saw you checking him out on oh, googly eye. Checking who The out. guy over there, I don't know his name. I don't even see a guy. Are you serious? You were like, oh my god, I want that. I knew it. <laughs> I turned around and I saw it. Noobin' it up, noobin' it up. What's up, girl? Noobin' it up. Noobin' it up. I can't see! I like this show. What? I, really I was like winning! I really like this show. Yeah, I don't. I was just playing Call of well, Duty. Well, I'm watching this show. This isn't Burger King. It you can't just have your way. It started like 15 minutes ago. Oh I God. just want to see the end of it. I'm sorry, but I was winning. Yeah, well, there's only you 10 minutes left. I'm joking. Oh, are you really? Are you really?
Are you going through my phone? No. Are you sure? Are you, are you, are you sure? <laughs> Why would I go through your phone? Well, because I wasn't on 3123 last time I was on here. I was actually texting somebody else. Oh! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Did I you? I felt like I did. <laughs> 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 <laughs>